I suppose we need rainy days in order to appreciate the sunny ones, but let's just say that this past summer, we've really enjoyed those elusive days of sunshine. We're coming off our third wettest summer on record, with many towns more than a foot above average. June was somewhat rainy, but manageable. The state saw a few heavy downpours from thunderstorms that month, but things didn't kick into gear until July. Tropical Storm Elsa was our first taste of tropical wind and rain. As the rain really, really picks up at this moment. Well, this is lovely. And I still haven't dried out from that. But after Elsa came three more tropical systems, each of them with heavy downpours. We were spared the worst with Fred, and while Henri didn't quite deliver destructive wind, it did drop two to five inches of flooding rainfall. And that was simply an appetizer for the excessive rain that Ida brought last week. This water is rushing through this community right now. And even with all that rainfall, we still had our fair share of hot days. Overall, the months of June, July, and August finished up tied for eighth warmest on record. Our hottest day this summer was June 29th, when we set a record of 99 degrees. But when you average it out, our summers have been getting hotter. Data from Climate Central shows a 1.4 degree increase in average summer temperatures in Connecticut since 1970. And while that doesn't sound like much, the data shows that we're dealing with more 90 degree days than any time in at least the past century. So hopefully this autumn treats us kindly around here. We could certainly use a break from all the rain and the humidity that often comes along with it. I'm Dan Amaranti, Fox 61.